Hey guys, Nick here from the Foot Collective. This is the TFC Beam 1.1 assembly video. Uh, it gives you an idea of how to put together your Beam 1.1. So each beam comes with two couplings, a right and a left. It comes with the tube of the actual beam, and then it also comes with the beam info card. And on here you have the serial number, the person who inspected the couplings to make sure that the uh, coupling hardware moves like it's supposed to. And then at the back you have a link to our beam training system, which is given to everyone that purchases a beam. So uh, we also sell the accessory kit. Uh, it's something we recommend to anyone purchasing the Beam 1.1. And in the accessory kit, uh, you get a few things. You get a foot restoration kit. You get two rubber mats, which are important if you're gonna put the beam on any hardwood floor or tile. It protects your floor. It also makes sure that you have grip and the beam's not gonna shift around. It comes with a couple pairs of toe spreaders. Uh, to share the love and then it also comes with an eight millimeter hex key which is the tool you'll need to assemble your beam so if you don't get the accessory kit make sure you got something to protect your floors also make sure that you have an eight millimeter hex key because uh, like i said that's what you need to put together your beam so uh, we're going to put this guy together first thing you want to do is unpackage everything so we're going to open up the couplings just have an exacto knife here uh, they're labeled right and left and we'll show you why that is so just kind of open that up. We shrink wrap them so that they don't move around in the packaging, don't damage um, the beam, which is powder coated. So it's a pretty durable finish, but just to be safe. So this was the right. And the left coupling. Open that up. So when we test these things out to make sure that all these screws work like they're supposed to, uh, we arrange them so that the, we can try and make it as easy as we can. The one that's elevated, the two that are flush stay there. The one that's elevated um, is the one that you're gonna use to put the pipe in. So these are there in case you decide to put legs in your beam if you wanna elevate it or uh, angle it in future. Um, after that, you can take the pipe. Now this one, we usually recommend just taking the tape off by hand because if you cut into it and you slice into the powder coatings, although it's pretty durable, um, it's nice to just be careful. It comes off pretty easily. Or so I thought. There we go. So, ditch all the packaging. And that's your beam in parts. So, the first thing you want to do is arrange the couplings like they're going to be, like they're going to be on the beam. Can't move everything else. Best to assemble this on a nice hard surface, uh, but also one that you don't care about scratching up, just in case. So, I'm going to gently put the beam in each end. And usually I like to put it so that, just show you here, I like to put it so that it ends up being, instead of being through all the way, I like to put it so that it's flush. So just so you can just see the green part of the beam in the coupling. And I'll start by tightening one of them off. Tighten that down until it makes contact with the beam. Don't tighten it too much. Pop the other one on. Like I said, the two screws that are up are the two that you're gonna put the beam uh, into. Usually what you wanna do is, not that it really matters, but before you end up making contact with the beam, actually, rotate it so the sticker is facing up. So the focus the sticker, rotate it so that it's facing up. Check in, make sure it's flush. Adjust it so that the screw just contacts the beam. And then same thing on the other side. Make sure the beam is flush in the coupling. Start tightening that down. Now, usually what we recommend is making gentle contact with each edge, uh, with, with each end, and then checking how your alignment is, okay? What you don't want is for the two beam ends to be like this, and then when you put the beam down, it rolls. So, make sure things are flush, make sure both ends are flush, then you can start to tighten up a little bit. So, I'll get in there, I'll do quarter turn, tighten that up, make sure both ends are flush, you can, if you can rock it back and forth, it means that it's off-center. So if you can see there, 
what you want is to push both ends down nice and firm before you tighten it up for good. So both ends look pretty good there. Tighten this side a little bit more. Both ends seem pretty good. So now I'm going to do a final tighten. It doesn't have to be crazy tight, but you want it to be tight enough that it's not going to come loose. Just hand tighten it. So once I'm there, I'll lay it down on the, on the surface. If you get a little bit of rocking, that's okay. A lot of times what you can do, flip it back over, back it off a little bit at one of the sides. Oop, that was a little bit too much. Put it down flush. If you get any rocking, just push until the couplings are aligned. And there, I get no rocking. So I'll flip it back over, do a final tighten. It's not a perfect system, but it works pretty well. There we go. That looks pretty solid. So there you have it. Your TFC Beam 1.1. Uh, put something under it to stop it from sliding if you got hardwood floors and uh, that's your beam.